Sometimes figuring out the timing of an action in animation can be hard. So here's a cool tip to help you with your easing when animating something new. Just cut your animation in half. What does that mean? Well, let's find out. Tip tut. So let's say we have a basic movement of this character lighting a flame in his hand. I'll focus on the hand movement for this video, but that same technique will apply to the head movement as well. So let's take our three key poses for the hand. Hand open, hand clenched, hand open again. For now, let's focus on the first two poses, hand open to hand closed. I don't know how long I want this animation to be, so I'll figure it out by splitting the two frames exactly down the middle. Right now, open is on frame one and closed on frame three. I'll add in a keyframe between them, giving us open on one, blank on three, and closed on five. Then I'll draw the exact middle pose between open and closed. This gives us a perfectly linear animation with no easing. I can repeat this process as many times as I like, adding in another frame between one and three, and another between three and five. Then drawing the exact middle pose again, fleshing the animation out without worrying about easing at the moment. This gives us a linear animation on one, three, five, seven, and nine. We can repeat this as much as we want. So let's do that one more time, which gives us one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, and 17. Again, this animation is entirely linear. Now that we're happy with the rough duration, we can split the frames again, but only at the start and end and start doing our easing. Let's split the first frame, draw exactly halfway in between, and do the same for the last frame. Now we've got a little bit of easing at the start and end. If you want more, just do it again until you're happy. So essentially we've worked backwards by fleshing our animation out from the middle and expanding. I did the same thing for the rest of the animation, starting with the beginning and end frames, then fleshing it out by halving it every time. The flames I just animated straight ahead. Obviously this little trick won't work in all scenarios, but it's one I use a lot when I'm just having fun figuring stuff out. Hopefully you'll find it useful too, and it'll help you with your animations in the future. That's it for this video, thank you very much. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.